hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is evidence and in today's video i'm going to show you what happens when you merge two data frames with the same column names so i went ahead and created a data frame here and um, i also imported pandas as pd so basically as you can see here this data frame has employees and tips as the names and this data frame also has employees as tips as the name and actually let me go ahead and change this to managers too this will make ev this will make um, a whole lot more sense if we have duplicate column names so let's just go ahead and do an inner merge between this data frame and this data frame okay so pd stands for pandas <laughs> just so you know I already imported pandas as pd earlier in this notebook so um, when we did this it just did inner merge automatically but since we didn't specify the employees column it just didn't return any data but in this case we specified to use employees as the merge so as you can see here the employees data here matches the employees data here and it kept everything else so now you have managers x and managers y Manager's X is from the first data frame and manager's Y is from the second data frame. So pandas automatically adds X and Y to the, uh, to the end of duplicate names. And it does this so that you wouldn't have two columns with the same name. And this is pandas way of creating unique column names. So whenever you do merge and, you're two and you have two data frames, that have multiple columns with the same names, pandas will add X and Y to the end. So if we go back and see um, tips, data matches tips that are here. So if we do merge on tips, um, it will add X to managers here and then X to managers here. I mean, it will add X to employees and X to employees here. Let's go, let me show you what I mean. Let's call this um, three. And let's merge on tips. Execute. And let's run this. Now we have employees X and employees Y. Wait, where is employees Y? It doesn't have an employee. Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was like, what? So it has employees X and employees Y. Managers Y and managers X. And it has only one column for tips because we specified to use tips as um, the column to merge on. Well, in this case, we specified employees. But you can also drop the duplicate. So when, when you have this situation, you can drop the duplicate data. And this is how you drop duplicate columns when you're doing merge and you have two columns with the same name. So if you have this situation where you have X and Y at the end, you could um, drop them manually or you could um, specify what the surfaces should be. So you could do something like surfaces. And let's got this left capital letter left and right and let's got this dupe four and let's execute this as you can see um the x and m um, has been replaced by l and the y has been replaced by r to specify that this data set is from the left data set which is df or the right data set which is df2 anyway that's basically it does um how to deal with data frames that has the same column names if you have and of course you could drop um this if you wanted to if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and subscribe and if you want um the python this python notebook if you want access to the python notebook used in this tutorial just go online to 
machinelearningeducation.com we are have like free data science resources and from here if you click on free data science resources view bundle and i'm going to have this link this link in the description too or you can just go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free data science resources and from here you'll be able to get access to all my data science resources so i have like the data science cheat sheet and the job and career resources and I have the data science tutorial. So this is where I have my tutorial Python notebooks. So any tutorial Python notebook that I use here on my YouTube channel is here at machinelearningeducation.com. And if you want to learn more about pandas merge function, just go to evidencen.com slash pandas merge and you'll be able to um, read this detailed blog post about how to, to do pandas merge and i cover everything from left on right on left join and the different types of merges so so right here as you can see right once we run and execute um this code we have duplicate data we have salary and we also have money we have driver and we have employees so we do not want um this duplicate data you can easily drop the duplicate data by after at the end of your code you could do dot drop and then um you specify which columns to drop and in this case let's just drop salary and then we specify the axis. So axis equal to zero means rows, axis equal to one means column. So we want to drop um, salary and maybe also drop, um, let's, we, we could also um, drop the driver column, but let's just get an, and execute this and let's see what happens. So if we do left, right, as you can see, it's the exact same thing as this, but now the salary column, which is duplicate of money column, has been dropped. Now, could we do this? Um, could we do this? And us, since we are using employees here, but employees is duplicates of driver, could we drop employees and uh, or driver? Well, let's find out. So we may have to put it in a list and let's see, let's try to drop employees and let's see what happens and let's say left, right, six. As you can see, so it did merge on, it did use left on and right on merge and it dropped employees and it dropped salary very salary it dropped employees and it dropped salary both of which were duplicate data so that's how to drop duplicate data from your final data frame if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you again in the future bye